Okay. Run. RT. Run! Damn it. Nope. <laughs> I thought he would be faster. I thought he would be faster. Hey folks, welcome back to After War Gaming, and here we are back in the Uncertain. Now, we are here at the second jamming device, that's where we came to uh, disarm this time around, but I just want to take a quick walk around. Henry? Huh? Uh, I can't remember what the reference is to, for some reason. I don't know why. Could be Walking Dead, could be Last of Us. Could be completely wrong, in which case I apologize for my lack of pop culture slash gaming knowledge, apparently. <laughs> um, maybe it's Firewatch. I don't know. Uh, it's been a while since I've played any of that stuff. Let's take a look. Some people have been watching my tower for two days now. Some of them are in military uniform. It creeps me out. I haven't had a radio signal for a few days now. Uh, so I cannot report them, and my next transport with supplies isn't due till Thursday. Interesting. I think the jamming device is feeding off the solar batteries on the roof. Most likely it has a backup energy source, though. If I turn off that source, it would be possible to locate the underground laboratory. Okay. Ah, okay, so this is the... Press space to get rid of just the red dots. Boom, look at that. Boom, boom. Don't hit the green, right? That's the that's the name of the game on this one. It sweeps pretty broadly. There we go. Boom. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah, that's better. Uh, we'll get this red dot here. Okay, now we got to take care of these four in the middle. Nice. Two in the middle. Uh, nice. One in the middle. Um, done. Perfect. The second jamming device is deactivated. Now we can figure out the location of the laboratory. I need to contact Nick. Okay. Nick, I can hear you. After I disabled the second jammer, the communication has been re-established. That is great. You were silent for a long time. Is everything alright? Yes, it is. Despite the guide drones who tried to destroy me, their lack of mobility can probably be explained by old-fashioned technology. We didn't know about any security drones. Be careful. Can we locate the lab now? Yes, we can locate any electronics within 10 kilometers. I can see your own signal, the aero car, two jammers. Got it. A huge object to the northwest from you must be the lab. I am forwarding you the coordinates. Find a way to get inside. Copy that. Okay. What I really like about that whole conversation, by the way, and while it's loading. What I like about the conversation is that the whole point is the lab is super secure because uh, the corporation, the, what is it, USS, or UCC, does not go to where the lab is. And then, and yet there are security drones, and we destroyed two of them, or two of them broke. And we, how does that not attract attention? And the jammers are down. How does that not attract attention? You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a little logical. I have arrived at the destination, but there's nothing here. I need to look around. RT, it's a hidden lab. That's all I'm saying. Okay, there's some stuff over there. Oh, this is cool. This is different. How far out can I walk? Oh, not that far. Okay, that's fine. So the logs mark my periphery, my boundary, I would bet. I probably can't go there. Can I walk around here? Yeah, I can walk between the log and the stump. Oh, it's a broken car. Check that out. Check out that car. If I can. Can I walk over there? Nope, I hit an invisible wall. Fine. These are suspicious drums and spools. It's, uh... No? There's no interactables here? That's fine. Perfectly fine. But, oh, here we go. A stump, a law, a tree, before we do anything with them. Oh. 
This place is wonderfully suited for a secret object. It is situated far from the cities and well hidden in the mountains. Except for all that stuff you guys did in order to attract attention to yourselves. You know what I mean? Okay, well... Okay, well, that looks like a console that we should be using. Um... Whoa. I think this human has been lying here for many years. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe it is worth searching him. Yeah, I definitely will. He only had a plastic key card. Maybe I can get into the laboratory with it. Sure. Um, what else do we have? A bush. No, there was a thing there. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. No, the bush is not the thing that's interactable here. Interesting. I like this. I like that there are so many different types of mechanics in this game. You know what I mean? Like, aside from the, the slightly illogical question of, you know, not calling attention to yourselves after you've destroyed things and turned things off that everybody has, but it's super cool. There's, like, a driving sequence. There are these telltale, like, regular uh, adventure game type of, like, point-and-click stuff. And then there's this. Yeah? The laboratory is definitely somewhere nearby. Otherwise, where would these containers that appear in the woods come from? <clears throat> well, there are two parent containers and two baby containers. And when one container loves the other container very much, they have a special kind of hug. No? Nobody buying that one? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that that's pretty on the nose for, you know, being an entryway to a secret laboratory. But there was another interactable piece. There was a stump. Yeah, the stump. In the past, humans often used wood as a building material. It is a renewable resource, but humans used it unwisely. Okay. Well, we got a little moralizing that. That's fine. Everybody, everything's fine. Um, yeah, it's not really a secret lab. You can kind of see the seam. I mean, then again, I don't know how long it's been since humans, right? So maybe the seam is just opened up on its own. Okay, let's take a look. Access panel. What does it open? There are no doors here. Yes, there is. Can we multi-tool it? Hello, Nick. I seem to have found the entrance. I have a key card, but the access panel is disabled, so I cannot come in. The lab has probably been de-energized after the shutdown, but there must be a way to activate the panel manually. There is a detector in your intercom which allows you to find energy hubs. Just turn it on. Try to determine where the electric channels go, and that is how you can find a way to restore the power supply. Let me try. Yes, you are correct. I can see an energy channel going underground. Thank you for the information. Okay, wait, so do we follow? Oh, sweet. Guys, this is awesome. All right, to... <laughs> uh, like I said, there are so many cool mechanics in this thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it fork? It does fork. Uh, okay. Let's move, let's follow this one first, because, uh, you know, follow this one first. Where's this one go? There's something in the grass. Yes, turn it on. There's something in the grass, turn it on. Oh! <laughs> I need to check the branches of the energy channel. Yes. That's what we're doing, RT. There we go. This was the second fork that we just had. Is there another one? Nope. is isn't forking yet. It's just veering. And another veer. Do, 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 do another veer. This is super cool. I like this. Nice. Uh, one more hidden panel. Okay. Uh, use it. Please. Mm. 
Uh, sure. Okay, so that's one, two. Oh, cool. Shift is to run. Nice. I kind of like this little jog. <laughs> Alright, so these two panels I got. There was the first fork. Let's go back there and see where that leads. I'm assuming that's at least on the two panels for us. Okay, there's the first fork, first fork, first, first fork. There we go. Let's just jog it out. Jog it out, RT. Veer. Veer. Oh, there's probably only one more panel. Veer. I see. There we go. The third panel. Probably the last one. Oh, cool. Wait, hold on. Check that out. There's like a broken helicopter back there. That's pretty cool. Nice. The access panel is active now. Okay, let's run it out. Can I go faster if I, like, double shift? Nope, no. He's just going to do his, like, lazy lazy jog. Now, we don't know, and, and I think in the beginning of the game, we, we, we were told that RT doesn't know what he was built for. You know, like, police robots know, I guess healing bots know, but RT's just not clear on what he was built for. Um... Let's see if Nick has something else. The panel is already functioning. All right, fine. I do not know the code, but the key card may fit here. All right. I just wanted to make sure before we actually, you know, do this. Nice. Emergency lighting. Apparently, nobody has entered this lab for years. Cool. This is super cool. Yeah, that's the exit. Nobody cares about the exit, because we just got here. This is awesome. This is a very useful device. It produces electricity from water. If there are other useful items in the laboratory, then it is a really great place for a group of humans to live here. Huh. Security room. The computer that has access to the complex's security system is probably behind the glass. Can we use it? Shatterproof glass. I will not be able to break it. Besides, I have not tried yet to enter in the usual manner. Okay. What else do we have? Laboratory equipment. Its purpose is unknown to me. Gonna be like a weapons weapons shed, no, or something. Cause I mean, there were like military dudes around. That guy was outside. That weirdo who was dead. The card. I mean, this does not look like just a regular generic research lab, you know. Exterior door access panel. It has to be activated with a digital code or the master key. Okay, the master key. Ooh. Okay, fine. We're not going to do that because we want to head deeper into the facility. The panel unlocks the main entrance to the complex. Interesting. This is like a little staging area. I guess this is like a little observation booth for security. All right, scan. Or swipe, rather. Access denied. Hermetic sealing of the compartment is required. Okay. Close the other door. Oh, I could always run with shift. Man, I'm, I am, I am dumb. Access denied. Access granted. There we go. Interesting. So maybe they did have a war, and this was to prevent anything from coming in. Or going out. Ooh. Access granted. That's not necessarily a sobering or a happy picture, right? Because why would you need this kind of security? Looks like the door is stuck. Better not touch it anymore. Okay. Wow. Okay, what's this? Food ration distributor. Okay. It looks like the room for decontamination. 
Are we ever going to get into this real thing? This door leads to the security room. Evidently, there are a few such security points in the laboratory. Okay, let's see if we can wipe through to the security room, because let's see if we can turn on, like, regular lights or something. Power is not supplied. Check if the generators are working. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Can we see if we can use this? I mean, is there still rations? These rations are useless to me, but perhaps I would find some use for it in the future. Uh, sure. Okay, um, decontamination room, please. I don't know why you would swipe. The door's open. Access granted. Look at that. Okay. Cleaning in progress. Cleaning complete. Cool. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on. Um, lockers? I would like to search everything here, but there is no time now. I'd better do it after we transfer the humans. Okay, what's this? A module for implant upgrades. It is suitable for humans only. Implant upgrades? I guess people were getting like cybernetics and stuff? I do not know what is behind this door. Come on, generator! Or, you know, the real... the real lab. Hold on, before we before we open the mystery door. Oh, back here. Oh, a lot of bubkis. Okay, let's go. Open the mystery door. Access granted. Cool. Man, this place is super cool. <laughs> Okay. Is this the generator room? This looks like generators. System offline. Judging by the size of the generators, the research in this complex required huge amounts of energy. Okay, cool. Uh, no, we're not going to do that yet. Now, I, right, it says check generators, but I don't know what the research has been. Let's see if we can go deeper and realize whether or not, you know, restarting this thing would be a bad idea. Assuming it opens. Uh, nope. Does not open, which tells me we should jog back back there. Uh, but also Judd tells me, whatever, we need to restart these generators in order to get into the complex anyway. Generator control console. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Set a, setting up a connection with backup power supply. Oh, I see. Huh. Uh, okay. Right. Up, up. Okay, so we gotta go there, right? We go... Yeah, we go like that, like that. Straight, down, over, over, down. Can we hook it around? Oh no, we can't. Mm. I see. Gotta go like that. I see, I see, I see. No. Oh yeah, this is it. Nice. System online. Power supply is restored. Initiating boot up of the laboratory systems. Ventilation system is non-responsive. Water supply system is non-responsive. Senior engineer must access the main console for troubleshooting. Nice. Okay, so there's some stuff for us to fix. That's understandable. I mean, this lab doesn't seem to have been operational for a while. Let's see. Does this has this area opened up? This this corridor that was closed down before. And then we got to go back to the security area. Oh. Uh. No. <laughs> that green sweepy thing saying it looks like a security camera. I don't need to put this place into lockdown. Let's go to the security station. Dogging it out. Come on, RT. Please don't tell me I have to go to decon again. And the gre like the 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 horrible harsh blue lighting is at least better. Like it's gone. Access granted. Nice. 
Okay, doors open. Perfect. So that's the security console, it seems. Yeah, see, there's the green, like, sweep of the, of the, of the, the, the security camera. It is a code lock. I cannot open it. You don't know the code? Oh, we don't know the code. Yes. It's a four-digit code, though, so that's something to know. Uh, what's in the booth? Anything? Ooh. Yes. Okay, so that's security control. But hold on, there was a little area in the back, like a security officer's suite. Yeah, back here. What do we got? Uh... The PDA. Cool. Sure. What is on it? Is it the code? Are we going to get this code? Yesterday, there was another accident with toxins in the laboratory chamber. Another one. This is the third case this month already. Your staff ignores safety instructions. Have a safety briefing. Find the culprits and do something. Otherwise, we'll have to reduce our financing. Do you know how much it does cost to hospitalize the staff? In a week's time, I want your full and detailed report of all the measures you've implemented to stop this from happening again. I get the very specific feeling this is like a bioweapons laboratory. Which... Nice, but... Well, nice as in, you know, this thing should be a fortress then. But on the other hand, it's a bioweapons lab. Who the heck knows what's in there, man? Alright, let's go to this control. Okay. Security system console. I think we can disengage the additional security turrets from it. Yes. New access? Access denied. Oh my god, okay. First of all, thank god that didn't pop a, uh, some sort of alarm. Emergency protocol is activated. Security system console is locked. To unlock, please enter the password or activate the console from the mainframe computer of the complex. What? Okay. That's clearly not the mainframe, but that- oh my god, no. Come on, that means we gotta deal with... RT? Yeah. RT, stop, you know, being like that. Fine, let's go to the main conference, main area. I, I guess we have to avoid the green... The green lights. I, I guess there was no way around that. Fine. Or maybe I messed up by not having him swipe immediately. In which case, I apologize. But, uh, it's happened before. With me being, you know... Wrong and okay. oh my god. These turrets are active. I need to avoid their field of view, or they will destroy me. Oh my god. Is that something over there? Is that something over there? Oh lord. A okay. one, two, three. All I got. Oh my god. Okay. Run! RT! Run! Damn it. Nope. <laughs> I thought he would be faster. I thought he would be faster. Okay, fine. Um. But. What I do have is this. I have these... Oh my god, really? Nope. Nope. Everybody relax. Everybody relax, please. Thank you. That was on me. I clipped the side of the thing. Turn it off. Access granted. Nope. Never mind. Oh my god, no. What the heck is this place? What is this even? Some sort of ancient security robot. Apparently, it is not functional. Maybe I can use it as cover. Okay. Uh, define as cover. Is there a console where you do control him? Oh my god. Oh lord. Also... What the heck? I didn't have to do that thing? Oh, man. 
Alright, fine. Let's check out what's on the other side before we do anything else. Uh, okay. Oh, they're no longer timed? Guys! I mean, they're no longer working together? In tandem? Alright, fine. They're both sweeping over there. And now you go over here. Go, 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 go. RT, run, run, run! Oh no! <laughs> Fine. Fine. Because this is it's because this game is, you know. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nice. 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 Good progress. Good progress. Good progress. Good progress. Good progress. Yep, that's right. That's right. Have to just have to execute it perfectly. Now we're all the way behind them. That's good. All right, third time. Third time's a charm. Access granted. Third take RT. That's all I'm saying. Uh, some sort of. This 3D scanner can identify the shape of an object and create a 3D voxel model. Cool. Mm-hmm. Right, come on, we gotta we gotta really just deactivate these. These, uh, whatever they are. Here we go. Commercial scale 3D printer. It allows us to print parts of any complexity from a super strong polymer. Using it, we can produce any spare parts. It will definitely be of use to us. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. These are, like, artists? No. These are, like, work... I mean, these are, like, working tables. I mean, but, I mean, like, designer tables? Judging by the number of workstations, a large group of scientists were engaged in scientific research in this laboratory. All right, that's enough, RT. We need, uh, you know, we need something more useful than oh, there were a lot, of, a lot of people. We need the security mainframe area thing that we need to restart. Uh, what's this? Emergency power stores. In case of the generator's failure, their capacity would be enough to supply energy to the main laboratory systems of the laboratory for a few days. Nice. Uh. Can we do with these it? emergency power sources are extremely rare and valuable but i cannot move them because my chassis will not withstand the high physical stress these are too expensive uh it's too expensive because <laughs> they're too expensive they're too physically stressful no they're too uh heavy all right i'm assuming this is the computer that we have to use but let's just double check there's a little area here uh we got some stuff okay although this place has been abandoned for many years the equipment is intact and functional why did nobody come back to collect it? Because they were all... They were all dead, RT. No signal. Okay, what is it though? Although this place... All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna use it unless I know it. Okay, what's this? There are various vials and flasks, but all the fridges are empty. What were they researching here? Weapons. More and more I'm seeing weapons here. Uh, Alright, let's just see what this is. Okay. Although this pla No, stop it. Okay, that uh, didn't really help me understand what it was doing. Uh, okay, these are like beds. More scanners? Bioscanners. Great. We will be able to scan and treat the sick here. Really? Yeah, no, I'm telling you. This is this is an arms lab. Really? Portal guns? Come on, man. <laughs> it could be. I'm not going to say anything. Okay, so we've seen pretty much everything now, except we don't have the code to enter that locker. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Not mess around and just use the key card on this computer. Employee identification is confirmed. Security system console is unlocked. Nice. Who are you? I am Ivy. Interactive virtual interface. I connect the staff with lab systems as well as take care of the research process safety. Uh, human security system objects of research laboratory. Humans. What do you know about humans? 
A human is a reasoning and speaking living being, able to create tools and apply them for purpose of social labor. I am aware of this information. What can you tell me about the agenda of the USS? I am sorry. I can only operate within a narrow range of answers. Ask questions correctly. It looks like it is not only her answers that are narrow. Why did humans leave the lab? Yes. Due to a leak of a poisonous toxin, SCR-CRW, all the personnel was immediately evacuated. The lab is not safe for humans until I find a way to reboot air ventilation and disable the turrets. Yes. Okay. So they did have all sorts of, you know, terrible things here, weaponry, etc. Okay. Uh, he needs to find a way to reboot the vent system. I gotta disable... No, come on! You're the security console, I don't get to ask you one question and that's it. That is such... Such a disappointment. Okay, okay. Food ration dispenser here. Is there anything else? I mean, I thought that was the main console. Oh, I see, because the console was on... <laughs> I see. The console was unlocked. That the other one was unlocked. Okay. Let's... Wait till this passes over me. Right, one, two, three, go. RT, for the love of God. Haul your patoot. Haul your patoot! Damn. <sighs> T... You're getting on my nerves now, and by you, I mean I am getting on my own nerves. Okay, so there's no way to pass over there. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Well, that's the second time that didn't work. But the thing is, we got to the edge of the door. Like, we got to the other side of the room through this pass. Or this, via this path. Pardon me. Whoops. Get away. Oh, I see. We Can, can we reset the cameras that way? Okay. Okay, okay. See me. Thank you. Now, go back to green. Perfect. Okay. Now we're out of sync cameras. We move this way. Perfect. Now we move back. Perfect. Nope, I'm out of your range. I'm out of your range! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Okay. Let's go back to the security console. Yep, yep. So there, I don't think there is a way to easily avoid those cameras, com the the turrets completely. In the sense of like, I don't think there's a way of doing it without getting spotted. Uh, I think part of it is you just have to time it right, or maybe that was just me. I mean, maybe maybe there are people who are far better at avoiding those turrets than me. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Now use the card. The turrets are not a threat to us anymore. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see what's left. Now we need the key card code. Uh, and I can probably go back to. Oh no, let's go check it out. I was gonna say let's call it there, but I realized that let's just wait. Let's just go until the next save. Uh, save like little save symbol, right? Why not? It's over here again. It's the mainframe. That's the mainframe. Nobody cares. Okay, let's go back to here. See if we got anything. Okay, so that's the ro- uh, that's the, um, what do you call it? That's the weird rover, robot, whatever. Broken door. Seriously, there wasn't a way to go here, right? Nope. God. Felt like a complete, complete idiot. All right, let's see. Maybe Ivy's back and will give us more info. Okay. Running back here. Now, 
The big thing is we need to reboot the ventilation system. And where do we reboot the ventilation system from? Certainly not there. These emergency. Yeah, 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 okay. Hmm. What's this? Ooh, it's another PDA. Is this gonna have the code? Come on, one of these has to have the code, right? When is the food distributor gonna be fixed? It spat out liquid good instead of chocolate bar again. I'm tired of going through the entire lab just to get a decent chalk bar. I mean, we only have a 15-minute break. <laughs> uh, did not really give me all that much, but fine. A little bit of flavor. Uh, what's this? Judging by the number of work. Yeah, okay, now we heard this already. I thought he was going to talk about something else. But there's a PDA. What's that PDA, man? No? No, it's a non-interactable PDA is what that is. Okay, we need to reboot the vents. Where do we reboot the vents? I think, I think we've been to, like, every space here. Um, okay. Oh, there's no doors there. Those things are gone. Fine. Let's take a look at this guy again. Some sort of ancient. Okay, some sort of ancient. Whatever, I can use him as cover. I don't think so. I wasn't able to turn him on. Okay, RT. Let's go here then. This is where we reboot the generators. Re rebooted the generators. Can we use this again? The generator is working again. Need to search the other chambers now. <sighs> okay. Well, I searched them all. I thought maybe I missed one. Okay. Right, that's the that's the one that's the implant only for humans. Okay, those are the lockers that we don't want to search. Yes, there were doors on this end. I didn't see that. They were kind of muddy though. Yep, man, I am just having a case. You know what I'm saying? All right, just open this up. There are no security threats here. Let's go reboot the air system. Access granted. Yeah, that looks like a place. Cleaning in progress. Oh, oh, please. Fine, clean me. Doesn't matter, the ventilation system's off. Whole place is Cleaning filthy. Complete. All right, yeah, easy, Ivy. Uh, what's this? That looks like a ventilation system restart. Bunch of food dispensers. Is that a crowbar? And a note. And another note. Cool. And, and a box. I know that uh, Alex banned drinking during work hours, but we won't tell her. And finally, please take back your crowbar. I keep seeing it everywhere. <laughs> I do have to say that's probably a reference to Half-Life. Although Alex isn't spelled quite the right way. Apparently, this place was abandoned in a hurry. Yeah, crew quarters. There are only items made from textiles here. They are useless to me. All right, all right. Um, okay. What about this? RT, please, come on. Geometry Wars. Hey, Ron. Charge your tablet, for God's sakes. A new part of the security bot has arrived. I left it in the safe at the security checkpoint. This pile of metal breaks more often than it turns on. By the way, the guys from the security service changed the code again. 0451. <laughs> Don't even think about losing this note, or we both would get sacked, Carl. Well, 0451, that's a little homage to uh, one of my favorite, uh, well, I guess like, it's basically, uh, it appears in the Bioshock series, in the System Shock series, in Deus Ex, because, you know, one of those little... Ventilation system. I need to activate it in order to make the air in the laboratory safe for humans. Okay, well, if I activate it, will I be able to go back to the locker? Hopefully. Nice. Air recirculation system is operational. Expected filtering time, 1 hour, 12 minutes. I must head off to the meeting point as soon as possible.
RT. Do not return to the hospital. I repeat, do not return to the hospital. We are urgently evacuating. Several police aero cars are approaching us right now. We managed to hijack a shuttle and Fletcher used it to pick up humans from the city depot. Go there and warn them. Somehow the police found out about our plans. I will contact you later. The message was sent half an hour ago. The police could have set a trap in the depot. I must reboot the engines to get there as soon as possible. Cool. All right, I'm assuming... Yeah, so, credits. Uh, so that's it. I didn't even realize it was going to end, but, I mean, episode one, right, ends on a cliffhanger. Awesome. RT, I'm assuming in the next episode, is probably going to have to take care of that human. Uh, I thought that was great. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed that. Uh, it has that, like, telltale walk around and click on stuff, but then it has so many other mechanics, right? The puzzles, I thought were well designed i thought they were logically integrated into the world right in the sense of there wasn't something well maybe that last one uh, that one where we had to reboot the generator where you had to like make the you know it's the pipe game um that one might be a little bit off but the others are logically in uh, it logically makes sense in the sense of uh you know you got to rebalance the power or you have to figure out how to quote unquote code you know the right the right uh, message or the right the right coding into the, the gun right the thing we did in the first episode you know find all f uh, find all of the 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 the, the fuses etc so I thought that was great the other mechanics the you know the driving mechanic the when the during the pursuit and the walk around pursuing you know uh, energy lines that you can perceive because that's what you've been implanted with those were super cool and the story, you know, look, the story, we only got a little snippet of it because it is episode one. But I'm, I'm personally intrigued. I'd like to know what's up with the humans, right? Like, what really happened to the humans? Because we really haven't been told much. We're, we're told the party line, the, US, uh, the USS party line, which is that they all died in the war. But clearly that's not right. And then the USS has some shady, nefarious thing. Uh, I'm hoping that in the second episode we get a little bit more of a development of who the guys were at the hospital, the other members of the resistance, because, you know, we kind of meet them and talk to them for a little bit, and they all have, like, one line, and that's it. Uh, speaking, by the way, of one line, what I'd really like is to be able to ask more than one question, right? So Ivy, we got to ask one thing, and I pick humans because I'm like, oh, can you tell me? I thought we were going to get to ask the question that it was finally going to, that she finally answered, which is, why did people leave? But I thought... You know, we'd also be able to ask, like, why the lab, and et cetera, et cetera. But that's fine. That's a limitation of the game. Uh, f that's a limitation of the game placed on its dialogue for Episode 1. I'm hoping in Episode 2 it's a little bit more freeform. But if even if it's not, I think it'd still be fine. Uh, and that's it, you know? 
Like I said, it was fun, it was enjoyable, it was a little short, I think, but I am very glad that I didn't stop playing it and that I came back to it and finished it. And now I am super excited for episode two. I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna be on the lookout. Uh, the one thing I noticed, by the way, now that I look at the credits, so I was convinced that every single one of the robots was actually of uh, a text-to-speech translation, you know, with just different accents and different uh, tones. But it, but there are actual voice actors, and congratulations to them on actually fooling me into believing that they are purely a uh, mechanized voice. I don't know. I th I thought that was hilarious. But, okay, so that's it. I'm going to be on the lookout for episode two. Uh, when it comes out, definitely going to play it. Definitely going to take you guys along for the, for the ride. And that's that. So, congratulations to the devs. Uh, did not disappoint. If you guys enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Uh, let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you want to see more of these kind of games. Um... If you thought I overlooked something, I know we didn't go see what's in the locker. I apologize for that. But if you guys think I overlooked something other than that, if you think I could have done something better, if you have thoughts on the game, if you have any idea what I should play next, because obviously this opens a spot in rotation, you know, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Brother, <laughs> <laughs>